It's all about love. It's all about being present. It's all about. So, welcome to the world of Arun Conscious Touch. It's、uh, where two of the most incredible human qualities meet in conscious touch. The awareness you have inside moves through your hands, and the love you have for what you're touching moves through your hands. The human body is the greatest miracle in the whole of existence. This this bag of skin and bones we live in is much more than a physical reality. And through the conscious touch, people they start to live that they're much more than a physical body. And and this is what we're trying. We're going to try to transmit that to you in these、uh, few hours. I think if you.、Uh, Can listen with an open heart.、Uh, your whole sense of touch is going to be transformed through what you see, what you hear, what you feel by tuning into this. I think your whole、uh, appreciation and love for the human body, the human hand, is one of the most.、Uh, it's it's like a miracle, and, and that's that's what I want to to somehow convey to you that. Your hand and the energy that moves through your hand is is really a miracle, and it has it has the ability to help the other person see inside their own essence. In this video and in our what we do with conscious touch, we want to talk about a a part of touch that usually isn't considered. We want to talk about the touch of meditation, and meditation is a word that's It's very common. Everybody hears the word and thinks they know. Oh yeah, meditation. That's when you close your eyes, or you imagine this, or you think good thoughts, or you come into a good space. As my understanding of meditation is, is really based on the wisdom of the Buddhas. It's it's、uh, based on the understanding that meditation is no mind, which is. Already a very difficult concept for the average Western person. What does it mean, no mind? If I can't think, who am I? But you're much more than your mind. And human touch, if it becomes conscious touch, it has to include elements that the mind is always so dominant in everything we do. So if my mind, my normal mind. Is judging what I'm touching or comparing this touch to other touches. It can still be a healing touch, but it will not be what we call the touch of meditation. And if you open up your mind, I think you'll catch it very quick. That wow, I can amplify my sense of touch if I expand my mind. So learning how to touch and be with somebody without.、Uh, Trying to put them in a box, trying to say you know, like conscious touch has an element of every touch, and and the very word touch it, it implies being in the moment and being present, and that's what we're going to give you some really practical keys to how to transform your touch. That it's almost always you're in the present moment. And then I was very fortunate when I was、uh, 23 to come across、uh, an Indian mystic, an enlightened man named Osho, and and he was the first person I ever heard say, "The body is the door to your inner consciousness." And now that's a very simple sentence, but think of that: your body, your material reality, is the door. To the consciousness that lives inside of you, I think you're going to be really surprised how you can you can learn to touch in a way that incorporates it all. You touch the body, you touch the skeleton, you touch the muscles, but you also touch the person's heart. You touch their deepest feelings. Every incredible thing can be looked at with the three M's. You know the three M's in in Osho's、uh, vision were was mathematics, 
music and meditation. So I'm going to show you a little bit through these days the touching, uh, the mathematics of the human body. It has a structure, the skeleton has a structure, the muscles, the blood, how it flows through us, the breath, uh, the organs and glands. It's like an ecosystem. It's like every human body is an ecosystem, ec ecological system. And, and when you see that, even if somebody might be in a lot of pain, but if you see, oh, it's just a, a walking ecosystem. We can rebalance it. We can play with the balance of this system very easy. And, and as you know, nature rejuvenates itself with the right energy very quickly. So with the energy of conscious touch, anybody's body, which includes their mind, which might be kind of full of tension, or it includes their emotions, it can be rebalanced, it can be brought back in. You must have seen uh, rivers that are dirty, and then human, intelligent, loving human beings stop dumping chemicals into that river. They bring a little more shade, or they bring a little cleaning to it. That river a year later looks so beautiful, and people are swimming in it. So. With the human body, whatever is happening in your body right now, uh, if you add consciousness to it, and this happens a rune style, which means every morning it starts again. It's not what you did yesterday has nothing to do with who you are today. It's every moment. And when you get into every moment, the body has an inner wisdom that cleans itself. It's just a kind of miraculous gift that the human body is much more than muscles and bones. And that's also what I want to really give to you in this video. And, and I, I sincerely think it, it can alter your sense of touch forever. Your hands are going to be like a good gardener. You cannot bring the flowers, you cannot bring the fruits from another person, but you can really prepare the ground so they can flower. And, and there's a lot of pain that's uh, inside of each human being that with the light of consciousness, it starts to dissolve. So there's a mathematics to the human energy field. Everybody, you, like you have a mathematics. That's why many of, uh, of you are unaware of your body structure. And without that awareness, you're going to create problems in your in your physical body. There is a mathematics. Gravity is going through us all. And we can learn how to uh, live within the mathematics, but, but let me uh, get musical for a moment. Because uh, I took away part of the sacrum here so you could see the nerves. Uh, but isn't it beautiful, the human body? But. Uh, the human body, if you just isolate the skeleton, like the cranium here, the pelvic bowl here, it's like a sitar. If you haven't thought about it before, your body is a moving musical instrument. The way you use your voice, the way you use your eyes, the way you move, it's like an instrument. And what happens through pain and tension is the same thing that happens to a musical instrument that's put in the cold too long, it's put in a dusty corner, and the strings become totally uh, out of tune. Most people's body isn't in tune, because it's not in the present moment. It's living in the past, and, and your past naturally weighs you down. So, how to come into the moment is what conscious touch is about. You learn to use your mind not comparing this touch to any other touch. That's, there's some key principles of, of a rune that if you do it, the touch becomes a meditation for the one receiving and for the one giving. If you bypass those principles, Human touch still happens, it's still beautiful, but it ceases to be a meditation. It, it becomes a goal, it becomes a... I, and I'm not... some goals are... you know, there are lofty goals that are okay, it's okay for that, but many uh, expectations around touch lead you in a direction that defeats the purpose. It, it sets you up for more tension. 
it takes time, but I learned how to touch without judging people. You don't need to analyze people to take them into a state of meditation. And when they go deep inside in a state of meditation, their body heals themselves. I think a lot of times people forget the music in the body. And music can, when we're in touch with music, it, it goes right through tension. It just, tension cannot exist around music. So part of what we do, uh, we're helping people remember the music that is inside their body. It's, you have music, and you're a musical instrument. And you can choose not to be aware of that or be aware of it. And then the third M is a lot of people, you know, they're always doing, 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 and they're, they're quite musical, but then they lose the meditation. They can't be silent. They can't be still. They can't, you know, just stop. Just be totally receptive. Just wait. Just be, be quiet. People, if you're too musical, and uh, you must have seen this, you know, there comes a point where music is noise. So you never want to have any one of the M's controlling your life. You want to live through all of them. And that's what I'm going to show you now with touching, how your touch sometimes can be uh, mathematically oriented, it can sometimes be musically oriented. And when you do go deep into meditation, you understand energy. In India, there's some forms of, uh, of buildings. You just go in the form, inside the structure, and your body relaxes. And, and this is what we want to show you with conscious touching. It's all about love. It's all about being present. 